hi guys welcome back to the channel i welcome you to my new amazing tutorial in this tutorial we are going to build a job portal using react and rapid api so let's see our project so in our project we have a beautiful title job portal and icon and here we have a nav bar and the job portal logo and then here on the right hand side we have a job title search you can search here your job title and here the location and the dates you can select and here we have a search button then after that we have some jobs available here here are some job cards here logo here the job title here the name of the company and what type of job it is full time part time or contractor so different type of job are available then here we have a view detail button to view the details of the job then in below we have a previous and next button so to go to another page when i click on next button it go to the next page and you can see that before loading it show some loader right escalate that is called skeleton loader so here you can see we are on the next page when you go to the previous page so see its loader skeleton loader is showing before loading the data so it's amazing right so now let's click on view details when you click on view details it will view all the details of that job like title employer means the company name and the location which location type full time which date the job was posted on and the job description key responsibilities what are the qualification you need for this job role required skills and all the details regarding this job and not only that we have a apply now button so when you click on apply now it will go to this link and you can go to this and apply for the job and now back when you click on back button it will come to the home page now let's search any job title like and let's search so now you can see that it's working fine so for the angular developer with the location bangalore it's showing with the all dates java angular developer senior angular developer so all the angular developer roles which are available and we have a next and previous button as well to see the other job post regarding angular so now search for react also so let's search react developer so you can see that we have a, a react senior developer java and react react native front end developer you can click on this view the details of that job you can see all the details regarding this job and we have a apply now button and go and apply here based on your preference so this is the website we are going to be using this react and rapid api key so when i click on back button it's again go to the same page where we are before so now come to the vs code but before that if you are new to our channel please don't forget to subscribe us so let's start with our project so we are using react right so what are the things we have to install so go to package.json you can see the first of all we have to create npx create react app and dot npx create react app so you can go npx create react app so the simple command to create your react app and after that we have to install axios to fetch the data so how to install axios so just search npm axios when you search npm axios it will go to this 
npm website and here you can see the command npm i x use right similarly you have to install and this react and react dom it will come with the uh, when you run that command npx create react app so it will come with that only and here we have to install react icon similarly search npm react icon whatever you need you can go to this npm website all the packages will get you can go and install and react redux similarly react router dom and the redux toolkit so these are the things we have to install and then we have other things also so let's see so we have to install tailwind css so how to install tailwind css go to tailwind website so let's search for tailwind so here is the official website so get started then you have to keep using post css run this command then copy this and paste it to tailwind config.js then here the main css so in our react app it will be index.css so here go to index.css here you can see that we have paste the tailwind paste components and utilities that's it for the tailwind installation if you have any problem you can go to my github profile so you can go to my github profile and from here you can go and copy the code clone it and just type npm install it will re install all the packages for my code so the code will be available on the github you can go and get it from there so not a problem so now come to the app.js some main file app.js which control our whole application so here we have a import browser router but before that you can go to the public folder here we have index.html here you can change the title right and here we have a uh, where it is um, icon here so job icon you can see that this icon on the portal before it will be react icon so you can go and change here here real equal to icon and here is the path of the png so here we have a job search png so this png we have used so now come to app.js so in app.js we have importing the browser router why we are importing browser router so whenever we click on this view details it go to the some other page then we will search something we go to the other page so for that we use browser router so for routing purpose so we are importing router route routes so which route will, it should go when a user will click you click on view details next version previous button so for that we need router right so it is important from react router down if you don't know this just google it what is browser router so like this copy go to the your browser search for browser router so you can see that it will go to the react router down this package and you can see that the browser router what is the use of browser router it is stored the current location in the browser address bar and clean urls and navigate to using other using browser history so it will navigate to the other pages so for that we have used browser router then use state what is use state and use state hook to react to manage the state so when a user type or do something the react uh, the react watches react track all the state whatever you do on the application so for that we use use state to track and manage the state of the component so now we are on this home page when you click on this view details it will go to the details page so 
to manage this we use, use this state so whatever the function we do whatever the changes we are doing on the application we can track the state of our application using use state now and not only this i have written the comments for each and every line you can read it out and understand very easily so you can go and check out my github code and you can run and see the code if you have any doubt you can comment or you can just edit it, this comment where where i have been mentioning this each line of code so you can see the import react router component for handling navigation wrap the entire app route defines for individual routes routes wrap up all the route so what are the function of this all the router routes so all the things i have mentioned here now here importing home page from pages dot home page so in src folder we have created another folder pages folder in that we have a two pages home page job details page so both we have imported from there and now we will use in our app browser. similarly we have a navbar component so we have created a component folder in src folder and in this component folder we have a five components so now we are going to import navbar component so here we have imported navbar component right now here we have a app app that we are using app.js in this component what we are going to do so first of all we have created use state and in this we have written a variable search params and set search params so this is the variable and this is the function so whatever user type will set by this function whatever user do will be done by this function right so to learn more about use state you can go to the official website search here you just state in react go there and see read the docu documentation guys it will help you a lot so you just state is here to maintain the state variable of your component you can see that here we are passed the variable and the function and here in you have passed the initial state so what if <coughs> sorry what we have in initial state in initial state we have a, an object in this object we have a job title developer and location is empty and date posted all so initially when we are running our project some you can see that when let's refresh so when we are running it so before it's showing a skeleton order then it show the all the job cards and you can see that the job card is updating each time so by default it is showing some developer related jobs right see developer 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 so by default at the initial of our home page initially it will show some job cards the job cards related to this job title developer and location can be anywhere you can see that and here you can set the location also if you want to set the specific location on our home page so you can set it out and here we have a date posted all so all the date of job that we have posted that all the cards will be shown now we are going to create a handle search function in this user give a parent and navigate so params is coming from this we have I will show you home page so in home page when we will go and see so here we can see that the parameter so this parameter means what are the parameters means query here you can see the what are the things related to the we are going to search on our API so parameter means these are the parameters you can you can see you can see here are the parameters like job title according this developer job date posted so these are the parameter according to this our search will be done right and then navigate means we have to navigate to the other page so 
now we have a set search params means here we have a function set search params so initially our param is this for our home page when we are not searching anything so these three of these things will come here and it will search to this api the api end point url so you can see the job details page also we have a url so i'll show you so this is the url so similarly we have a url for the search so initially it will search for these parameters default we have set there and it will set the all the data to this search params and it will navigate to the slash slash means home page right and it will in return we are returning some jsx like router all the router for our app in our router we have a nav bar initially our nav bar it will show on the top right you can see that nav bar on the top and in nav bar we have a own search handle search means handle search is this function this this so whenever user will run his project refresh so in home page this handle search function will work so what it is in handle search function so in handle search function will search this params the title location and according to this it will search so on search is in event so event means when a user do something on the page but this is the handle search done by the this default and we have a, a custom handle search also which we'll see in home page so you can see that i'll show you handle search in our custom home page so where it is search so in search current page and uh, search button where it is so our search button is in navbar so in navbar it will be so you can see that in navbar we have a handle search so this we have a customize and now here we are using handle search for the default parameters so this default parameters on our home page right and this will be common to all the all the page our neighbor should be common to it will show on the job details page also in home page also so we have pass on the top and we have created a separate routes so initially in routes we have used route and in this route for the individual component we have pass the path you can see that the path path is slash slash means home page and element in element what we have to pass pass the that page or component you want to render on the website so this is the home page you want to uh, this home page this is the home page this i want to show on this path on slash path i want to show the home page right so we have passed the home page in element right and in home page we have a search params equal to search params so this is the search params right we have defined the search params it will be according in home page the search params will be by default this right so we have to pass the props also right so that this is called props which will use in the home page so search params you can see that we have imported our see from the parent to the child you can see that so props always come from the parent to the child and this search parents will use in home page so for custom search initially it is searching on this parameters now if we want to other parameters like react angular view so other job title we want so for that we will use the customized search parents so we will make a, another handle search in our home page so now similarly for the job details page so we have created a route which on which route our job details page will be shown on this path and in this path will be job and id so when i click on this job view details so it will show the job and the id of that job 
right it is showing and in element what i want to render this job details page on this route so job details page is showing you can see that that's it for our app dot js so now we will see the navbar so what we are going to do in navbar so you can see that we have a navbar in this navbar we have a job portal title and the job search title and the and this all the date and search button right so this we have to build so to build this let's see our navbar.js so in navbar.js we are importing the use state from the react and use navigate so what is the use of use navigate from the react router to navigate between the routes so now we are going to the details page right job details now we come to the home page so who is navigating from one place to other place that is use navigate and here we can see it importing the fa bars fa times so these are the uh, icons we are going to use for the small devices so our project is responsive for the small devices also you can see that so this icon it will show so that icon we have imported right from the react icons so to install react icon just search react icons npm so it will go to this website and you can search and install it so in neighbor component we are importing the own search own search so own search is a props to handle the search mission right so we have passed the own search so own search what do we want to do so we want to do some search on the job title location date posted and navigate so we want to navigate to the that page right so for that we need own search props now this props we will use in another component we'll see soon so here we have created a use state and why we have created the use state to set the job title so whenever user will type something here so react will track what the user is typing here so so to track this we use state initially it will impt when we pass something like react so let's search and see it's now come to react right so initially we want to make it impt now location location also impt date posted all so date posted all that it will be default we have passed here so similarly we have created another state for menu icon so our menu is open or closed right initially our menu is not showing when you go to the small device you can see that the menu bar is showing right now we have use use navigate we make a variable navigate using use navigate function you can see that and we have created a handle search for this page so this handle search will do based on the user search so user will search a job title location date posted and it will navigate to the that page right so you can read the comments i mentioned call the on search function pass the parent component and passing the search parameter and the navigate function similarly set is menu open initially our menu will be not shown right for the large devices it will shown for the small devices now to toggle the menu we have created a function in this function what we have done set is menu here we have used 
this not operator you can see that you can see is exclaiming what is the name of this you can search I have to confirm name of this symbol so we'll see here so I think this is the not so you can see ex exclamation mark you can see also so initially we use in react for not if his menu is not open so set menu is open so it will return a boolean it will toggle so if you want to toggle something you can use this not operator so you can read it here it's if it is true set it to false and vice versa so for that we use this not operator so and this is menu open come from this variable is menu and this function set menu is setting our state so if the state is very important in react so must know clearly before making any project so now we have a nav class uh, sorry ele nav element and in this lab element we have a class name and we have a background white shadow large fixed top zero we are using this element css to style our navbar width full z index 10 so these are the simple css if you don't know this you can just learn it and then watch this tutorial and then we have a div tag in this div tag we have a class name container what container do any hover in it it with 100 percent for the other device 640 pixel and this 40 pixel so we responsiveness we are using this mx auto what is mx auto do so margin left auto margin right auto flex display flex justify between and item center these are the simple css we are using to style our navbar now we have created another div for the job logo we have a job portal logo right so that we have seen here and we have a hamburger menu icon for the mobile so this will be initially hidden on the large devices so md hidden so on click toggle menu so when user will click the menu will toggle toggle means it will change to the cross cross to the these three lines right so for that we have pass here one click toggle menu and what toggle menu function will do it will toggle this icon right and it here we have written what it will show so is menu open if menu is open it will show the cross icon right a few times and text purple and size 24 and if it is uh, not open means it is closed right if menu is closed then it will show this so if it is closed it will show the three lines when it is open it will show this icon right cross icon and you can see that on the you can see the all the see all the option job title location you can search for the mobile devices also now in desktop search form we have a created another div for the desktop so initially our this icon will be hidden so we pass hidden so what hidden will do display none right and md flex the spacex and uh, input so display search form only on medium and large and screen use flexbox so you can read it, this comment you can understand what we have done here and we have input so input tag we are using to to input the job title and value initially will be job title 
this variable we have passed from the upper see job title this is state variable and on change an event will occur event means when a user type so that is an event on change and on change of input set job title so this function will set the job title whatever the user will type so how to get the user typed value e dot target dot value right now we have a class name to style our input box padding to rounded outline none border so these are the simple css you can use now similarly input for the location so here we have passed the value location whatever the user type so based on that location it will search the job title and who will set that uh, user whatever type the value who will set the set location function will set this value right so now we have a select so date posted so value will be date posted whatever the user will select the all date last week last month so based on that so initially it will be all date right so here you can user can select and that value will be set by the this set date set date posted function so this is the use state function right and option will be this all day today last week last month so here user can select all the things and now we have a handle search so on we have a search button right also so in search button we have a uh, handle search function so on click here you can see that we have a on click so when user will click handle search function will work so what is in handle search function handle search function search the job card according to the job title location and date posted so when user will click on the search button that function will occur now for the similarly for the mobile devices so if menu is open then it will show the all the input right so let's come for the small devices when the menu is open now menu is open it will show the job title location today and search button so these are the things it will show input for the job title input for the location input box for the date posted and the search button these are the things will be appear when the menu is open right so for that we have written in this curly braces when you want to write some javascript logic so you can write in curly braces so now we will go for the home page home page we are importing the use effect and use state from react so use effect for the side effect and use state for the managing component state so we will use effect based on the user dependency so we will call the api so we have to call the api each time right so you can use use effect for it is the best method to call an api so here importing axios from the axios library so we using fetch right in javascript so in similarly we use axios in react you can use this library to make http request from the api that we will use from the rapid api so before that i want to show you the rapid api so rapid api so search rapid api go to this rapid api.com so let's wait for see now in the search we will have j search so just search j search so click on this j search right and now it's not showing the api key so when you will sign up right we have it, it will show the subscribe to subscribe here not the test endpoint so when it will show test endpoint then you are subscribed to this api so to use this api to activate it we have to after sign up we have to 
make this j search api to subscribe so subscribe the free one so zero dollar it will be so free one you have to subscribe then you can test the endpoint here now after testing you will get some result so now your api is working fine copy the api api key from here and paste it so you can just go sign up search j search here this this is the api and you can see that we are copying this this in point url and we will use in our project so just we have to copy the api key only and before copying make sure to subscribe this so if you have subscribed then it will show the test in point and you will test it it will show some result so now come for our home page so we are importing job card from the complex dot job card so in component we have a job card right so in here in our page we have a some cards right different card the, this position we have different uh, for this company for this this and some co image company has no image so it's showing the title of this company so you can see that the different cards for each company right so we have created a job card so we'll see soon and uh, now pagination so we've created a component pagination which will be common for the our website but it will not shown in job details page because we don't want uh, pagination in job details page so we want when the some job cards is being shown so then we have imported skeleton from the home skeleton so we'll see the home skeleton so so when we are refreshing see some skeleton is long some cards dummy cards is showing before loading the data right so so this skeleton will build this also so now in home page component we have passed the search params so this search params is coming from this app right this search params we have passed see this search param this part such a prop to this home page component you can see that the home page right this page to this page we have passed these props right now we leave this search params here right if we have created a use state for the set jobs initially on our home page it will be null and so jobs when we will get the api from this we will get an array i show you soon so don't worry so to set the job so some job cards will be there so set the job you need is a state and to set the current page so one two three so initially the page will be one so for that we have created a user state and for the loading so when to show the loading when to not then it will for that we have created user state so initially our loading will be false right when it will be shown i will show you so in use effect so in each effect we are going to call our api why we are using use effect so if you don't know use effect just search use effect in react go to this and let's go to official website so here we have a setup and dependency so this setup is nothing but just call this function this function right the callback function and we have dependency below it so according to the search params and the current page the data will be shown so so on each dip dependency means uh, this uh, if you user will search so on that dependency api will be called when user will change the current page that time the api will be called so in each uh, time when user have some dependency so on this dependency only the job card will change so for that we we are going to use effect to call the api again and again for our user needs so here we have created a fetch job for async function so always use async await when you are fetching the data from the api 
then set loading loading true so now the loading will be true now our skeleton will show before loading the data and after loading the data our set loading will be false right so we have used try crash block so always you try crash block if you get some error it will be best to find the error and handle the api easily so here we have created a const response and async with async must use await so axios dot get so axios this library we are importing like you use fetch right so now we are using axios to get the data so for the getting data we have a method get post put patch so now we want to get the data so we are using get here we have passed the api int point url so this from where it will come in j search you can see the http this url right this we have pasted here now in params you can see here it i think it is not mentioned it will subscribe to it it will show and uh, in params means what in this in this params we are using right in home page params see this params so params is parameter what the user want to search in this we have a query means job title and the job location on this function user want to search right the job cards and one more thing the date posted user want to see the job card based on the date posted so search param dot date posted and search param the job title so this from where it is coming so it is coming from where we are on uh, um, nav bar so where it is see job title location date posted these three variables coming as a props to this home page we are using job title date was and location so this text should be same when we are using in this query function so that according to this we are have to search from the navbar so this this value will coming from the navbar when the user is typing something that job title will come here and it will search to here and the search params is the where it is coming from search param go to navbar and where is search param i think app.js so this search params so initially it is searching from this now the search param it will set the search params to this user whatever the user will type so for that it will change this user search params means the user whatever the user value will give the job title it will search the job title based on that this api search and page will be current page initially our page is current page means one you can see that so we are using use state each time you can see that in very time each and every time we are using you just did so now you can see when we are doing something change anything change anything we are using you just did to maintain our state of our app so whatever user is doing so for that we are using you just did now in headers we have passed rapid api key and rapid host so you can see that in header we have a host and a rabbit api key the host will be same right process.env create so this you have to create a dot env file here dot env i can't show so in this i have some my api key i can't show my api key so in here job portal you have a job portal like right? this folder in this main folder in the root folder we have to create a dot env file in this dot env file just right to this react rapid api key must start with the react app otherwise it will not work react app react app now we will write rapid api key rapid api host and equal to don't give a space don't give a space just write react app rapid api key equal to 
and you paste your rapid api can similarly for the rapid api host just equal to rapid api host the host will be same so js search host something will come so you can copy from this js search api that i have shown you here right so just paste it don't give a space just write react api, API equal to this or otherwise if you don't want to create a nb file so just you have in process in in place of this create a, a, in a comma double quote and paste your api and something like this so just create double quote and paste your every api api okay. so but this is not a good way so we give you have to use dot env file if you are building for the production so it is a good way when you are doing a dot env file separate now after this if data dot response dot data dot data means if some data will come from this response then set jobs data so let's see what data is coming so see console dot log response dot data dot data now go to this go to the console and you can see that in data you are coming some array right zero one two three nine these are the array of an object you can see that these are the array of an object so i'll zoom it and i'll show you see these are the array you can see that the square bracket in this web object one two three four five six seven eight nine right so these are the array so i have told you before in you just we are using array right here array in the top here in the job we are using array now this array we will set to this using map function 0 1 2 in this we have a all the details job country job city job logo job name employer name sorry and uh, uh, all the things when it is has been created and uh, job publisher linkedin so all the details and job title senior net developer right you can see the senior net developer this card and this card has this all the data this data is coming from this api only so we are using this to get this all the card details right now if data if now we got the data right so if data if you get the data so what we want to do set response data to this set job right set job what is in the set job now it is mpt array now it is set all the array data it is coming from the api to this set job function right else if it is not get the data it will show an error no jobs filled in the response so it will give error and we have another catch try we are using if any error coming from the api so then error fetching job and it will show the error then finally set loading false so now our set loading loading skeleton will be false so when it is depressed it when the data will initially skeleton is showing when the data is coming the skeleton disappear right so set loading false and we are calling the fetch job function this function we have created in this function all the fetching data is all the function we are doing so this is calling this fetch job function and in the dependency of the use effect we have passed the what are on what uh, parameters so it should depend our use effect has some dependency so when it will call the api when when it will call when the search params when the user will search something when user will uh, change the current page right that time our uh, search api will call so so that we have passed this dependency 
now in return returning some JSX like div class container margin auto margin top these are the simple tailwind CSS you can use it and here we have a, another div so we have grid column 2 grid column 4 so initially on the small a big device it is grid column 4 so in a small device grid column 1 when you will go to see one 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 card is showing right on the small devices so these are the simple css for responsiveness you can learn it if you don't know the tailwind css so if loading if it is loading then show the skeleton so how many skeleton is so array dot from length equal to it pass the index and a skeleton key equal to index so so this is the simple javascript so if you want to show the eight skeleton right when you are refreshing it is showing one two three four five six eight so seven so it is showing eight skeleton right so initially we have some skeleton right this is skeleton component so go to a skeleton component the home skeleton and this skeleton we have a use some this tailwind says how i have create, uh, get this skeleton right so let's see tailwind css skeleton so search this go to flow byte and we will get all the type of skeleton you can see that this i have using job details page and uh, this one i am using this this is the same thing i have used in home details page so copy the here in this code and paste it here in our home skeleton right and this i skeleton i want to show when the loading is true when the data is not coming from the api otherwise i want to show the data and i want to show the data if the data length is greater than zero if you don't get the data i don't want to show right so if data length is greater than zero then we want to use map function we are getting an array right zero one two three so in each job title i want to show each each details of that job so you want job we are using jobs dot map function so using map function these jobs coming from this if just state variable that i have shown you this jobs right and in job card we have passed a job card we will see the job card component this is the component in this component we have a when you are using map function always use a key so job equal to job id key so we have a job id in the console when you get the data and job equal to job so we have passed a props jobs now this jo all the jeff data coming to this job card we have passed to this job card right we have passed this job data this all the data in the job right all data we have passed to the job card now we will shown in the job card how will so i will show so if we no jobs no jobs found and we have a pagination below set the current page equal to current own page change this is the event own page change and on page set the current page so how pagination will work we'll see soon so before that let's see the job card what we are want to show in job card so in job card we, we imported the link from the react router dom so whenever user will click on the job card it's going to the job details page right so for that it's like an anchor tag right now in job card we are getting the all the job data it is a parameter which we have passed now in the home page right just i told you in this constant truncate tiger this is the function we have created so when the user uh, you can see that cards we are getting the long title of this post job post so i don't want to show the whole job title so i want to show the 20 characters so for that i pass the parameter title if the title length is greater than 20 it will slice the uh, character 20 and it will add the three dot otherwise it will show the title if it is less than 20 it will show the full title that is you can see that here it is not showing the three dot because it's the less than 20 
character and here you can see that it is greater than 20 characters so that it is showing the three dot and what is the use of slice if you don't know go to my github i have uploaded the crack javascript interview here is the repo you can see what is the purpose of slice method so that same thing i have used here what is the use of slice method so you can go and read our javascript interview question and so so now we are interning some jsx in our job card so in job card we have a div in this div we are we have a background white rounded lg shadow some padding hovering transition these are the simple css we have used. now i want to show the image so image is in src means source job employer dot employer logo so in our page i want to show the image is coming from the data data is coming from the where it is coming from let's refresh it no let's home page console console dot log response dot data dot data let's see so some data will appear here see this data in this data we have a employer logo this what is employer logo you can see let's see what is employer logo so remove this quotation now such employer logo means this this icon this icon is you can see that this icon so this job icon is showing so this i want to show in the job cards so employer logo job dot employer logo now if it if it no image then it will show employer name right in some cards we don't have the logo see it is showing employer name employer name is bit chart labs you can see the bit chart labs that is showing in place of image then we have created s2 tag in this s2 tag it will show the job title and job title is shown in this truncate title function that we have created before so we have to pass in curly braces when we are writing any javascript type code so we have passed here job dot job title if it is greater than 20 it will slice and it will add three dot if it is less it will not add three dot it will not slice the job title now in paragraph we have a job employer name you can see the job employer name and in the paragraph another paragraph we have used view details in view details button we have a uh, and before that we have a job employment type so full time part time so it will show and uh, in below we have a link to the view details button so when a user will click on view details it will show the view details page so it will direct it to the job slash job dot job id so job has some job id right so in job has some job id see this job id let's click and see see 8 o something 8 o m g so same same job id is showing so i when a user click on view details it should, should show the same job card details right so so we have to get the id of job 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 right so so that when a user click on that it should show so the job details of that card only so for that now we have a some class name to style your view details like text white rounded matching padding padding so these are the simple css guys so we will focus on more on react and functionality not on the css so in home page we have a pagination also so how it is showing the pagination so now come for the pagination component in pagination component we have a current page and on change so now current page is one right initially on on page change it will uh, it will call when the user will click on next button or previous button so this this event we are going to use so we are returning some jsx and these are the props coming from the home page right 
and uh, here we have a div in this div i want to show the all the next and current button so you can go and see the back button go to back button and uh, here it will show the next and previous button right and let's remove me console don't keep console in uh, if you are going for production so don't keep console remove it now come for pagination so in this i want to create a button in this button I have some style in this button when a user will click it will on page event will occur it will minus current page minus minus when it will be minus on previous page the current page will be one so previous page will be disabled right it will not work previous page so we make it disabled because we can't go to the zero page right now we have a page text the page and it will show the current page so we are on current page one to so page one when you click on next so it will show the page two so let's click on next i clear it three two times so it go into the page three directly so it go to page three then we have a button in this button when you click it will go to the next page so this is for the next button so next button means current page plus one previous button means current page minus one so this is for the pagination now we will see the job details page in next video so if you like our project don't forget to subscribe our channel and share with your friends so i will upload this source code and in next video i will deploy this application on the internet so that you can access from the anywhere so and this rapid api is also not free it is limited to the some search so we it will work for the some limit only so if you want to for the production if you want to use to make a business or something so you can buy it from the js search rapid api so in next video we will see uh, the remaining job details page so hope you guys like the video subscribe the channel and don't forget to share with your friends so thanks for watching we'll meet in part two of this project thank you